Go. I think they won a little bit. Can we have a little discussion for the cameras? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. You just give us your views on Christianity and we'll just talk about them. Not, we don't have to debate. We can just dialogue if you like. Okay, so, so what are you? Let's start with I'm, that. A, I'm an Eastern Orthodox. East, what does that mean? So a lot of times people say Orthodox, they start off by saying a place. Yeah, because you know, they're... People don't say I'm an Arabic Muslim. They don't say I'm an Indonesian Muslim. They just say Muslim. That's well, the number one thing right here. Orthodox is, I'm, I'm a Serbian Muslim. What does that mean? That's, that's just... Country, just tell me, tell me well, you Eastern just refers typically to the fact that the East and West had a split in the schism in 1054 between what becomes the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Church. We call us a particularly Eastern Orthodox to distinct us from the Oriental Orthodox in Egypt, Ethiopia, Armenia, who we have Christological disagreements with. So it's just to point out the distinction in between, because they also call themselves the Oriental Orthodox in Arabic. For them, Oriental East, it's pretty much the same word. So we only say it in English really to distinct in just normal conversation, we just call ourselves Orthodox. Right. It's just for the sake of making sure that it's clear what position we are holding to, that will just be Chalcedonian Christology, that will just be basic stuff like Diophysitism, so as opposed to their view of uh, strict Miophysitism or Monophysite. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna do it. yeah. Don't worry, we're just, we're just having a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said Eastern Orthodox. Yeah. Serbian Orthodox, Russian Orthodox? I go to a, I go to a, a Greek church. Okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Just asking. No, no, come, come. I want to I have a little dialogue with you, man. I'm not trying to... Not trying what, to what do you want to talk about? I'm like I'm saying, I'm trying to hear Christianity. your views on, on Christianity. You normally have a lot to say okay, on your... How many gods do you believe in? One. Oh, yeah, there you go. One god. Is yeah. Jesus God? Absolutely. Let's do that okay, so who did Jesus pray to? The Father. Oh, okay, that sounds like there's more than one now. How well, can, there's more... God pray to himself? Because there's more than one oh, hypostasis in the Godhead. There's not more than one God. Because God, in this case, refers to the nature, the divine nature, as, uh, as mentioned in 2 Peter 1, 4, the divine physis in Greek. So we understand there's one nature. That's what we refer to when we say one God. These persons have the nature. God is one in nature, tri and hypostasis. But the hypostasis aren't separate beings because being is once again proper to the nature. So there's one being in three persons. What's that word you're using? Hypostasis. Well, what's your definition of that? Person, individual subsistence and a rational so they're, nature. They're separate or they're together? Distinct, not separate. What's the difference between distinct and separate? Well, separable means they can be taken apart. Yeah. We're not saying they can be it's taken apart. It's semantics. I can't, I, I it's not really semantics, know. it's metaphysically different. Separation implies like this, I can separate this from myself, but a distinction just implies that there is a difference between two things without being able to separate them. And they're different insofar as their identity is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. They're not different insofar as their nature once again. Are you sure you believe in one? Absolutely, I believe in one God. Okay, so when you pray, do you pray to God or you pray to Jesus? Either or, it's the same thing. Either is that that mean that applies too. <laughs> yeah. See how the language is already. You like, can it, you can make a linguistic point if you want. The point is I could say is, I could say oh God or I could say oh Jesus. I'm just saying there's not really a distinction between saying either of those things. Okay. It's the, it's like the okay, it's okay. like the difference between saying oh Ya Allah and Ya Rahman. It's just you can say either or, but you're referencing back to the same being, right? That's just two names. Yeah, that's the point. I mean, we're just giving you two names of persons in the Godhead. You're saying two distinct not, beings. See, you need to not say names. separate entities. These are distinct persons, but they are one being. So that's just not characterizing what I said correctly. So is that your contention, Christianity, that we're allegedly tritheists or polytheists? Is that your contention? No, I mean, that's just why, that's what I don't resonate. It never makes sense to me. Well, I, I just to people, like, broke it down. Let me explain. I speak to Ethan Orthodox, Catholics, mm -hmm. Jehovah's Witnesses, Christian scientists, Mormons. Everybody has a different definition. Yeah. Whether it's a form, it's a distinct being. Jesus is God. There's only one God. There's three gods. There's the Holy Spirit. Which, 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 which Christians are you talking to that said there's three gods? Oh, a lot. The Christians are never consistent about what they well, believe. Well, anyone who told you... I've heard the hypotheses. I've never heard Well, that's, that's the standard formula that has been for centuries. For two, nearly 2,000 years, this has been our standard formula, formulization. I mean, once again, I don't know any my, Christian my who says... The first time I've heard a Christian say, like, I ask, okay, you believe in one God, and then he says, yeah. either or. If you played to one, you wouldn't use the word either. I don't understand what you mean by that. You oh, said no, you believe yeah, in yeah, one. Yeah, no, 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 you say you believe in one, but yeah. you asked, who do you pray to, Jesus or God? You said either one. No, I'm saying either, I'm saying two. either or. Well, either or, you can twist or, my language that, if you want, but as I already made clear, we're talking about hypostases. We're talking about the fact that it, any of them are God according to us, but we still pray to any of them as God. There's not really a distinction in regards that they are God. But there's no difference between that and saying you can call upon any of the names of your God and it's still referring to the same being. That's not necessarily a problem. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, that sort of rhetoric is why I love Christianity and why Tawheed makes sense to me. The but that's not rhetoric. That that's pulling it rhetoric isn't, you know. I'm not calling it rhetoric. I'm just you did. You said it's. You said the, that sort the way of rhetoric. You're explaining it right now, just it still doesn't make sense. That's called a personal incredulity fallacy. So appealing to your own lack of understanding of a thing does not entail a thing is not true. That's fallacious. I was just curious because you know. He says a lot about our faith online. I just want to engage with him in a dialogue. I think that's fair for a critic of our faith to engage with someone who wants to answer some criticisms. And I, 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 I explain. Like, well, the, reason, the reason that I love Christianity is because I've never heard a, like, an answer that makes sense to me. And you're saying that my lack of understanding is, is wrong? Well, well I'm saying that appealing... Faith all starts from understanding. If something doesn't make yes. logical sense to me, if I don't understand all it, I was I'm not going to believe in it. All I was stating... It's all I was personal. stating. I'm not, I'm not, not a personal attack on your faith. Well, it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Well, all and I even was, now, the way you explain it, hypostasis, yeah. either or, distinct, it still, it still doesn't make sense and I don't yeah. think anybody will ever be, maybe be able well, to Well, it's it. made sense and been understood quite consistently throughout many fields of philosophy and theology for centuries. So that's not true. But all I was pointing out there is appealing to, I don't understand this or this doesn't make sense to me, doesn't actually prove the thing in question false. That's called a personal incredulity fallacy. So your reasoning is logically flawed.